this time on Tornado Titans. Uh, it's probably a tornado up in that right now. In Northwest Texas, the team is tracking a high precipitation supercell. Dark, rain-wrapped, and threatening to drop a tornado at any moment. The question is, will they actually get a glimpse of this beast? Or will it stay hidden, a ghost swirling behind the rain? Sky's gone black without a prayer Wind picks up to rip and tear After it's done our face All right, we're going to get up here on this thing and see what it has to offer. Powerful supercell. Monster, it's born in a ton bigger. Look at that. It's right on the front. Unlike the past couple of days, today's setup features very little capping. Storms are already firing as the team pushes south and west to meet them. They formed where the dry line and a cold front collide in West Texas, and now they're packed in tight. All of the ingredients for severe weather are here, but with so many storms competing for space, the chase faces a familiar problem, high precipitation storm boats. A powerful supercell is already out there right now. The question is whether anyone will actually see the tornado it may produce. Man, the space is low. Very low and dark, goodness gracious. If there's any tornado, it's gonna be left of the road there. The team is packed in tight against the storm, with its rain-soaked rear flank downdraft pressing just south of the highway. Any tornado that forms here is buried, hidden behind that thick curtain of rain. Dark sky stuff right here, man, a lot. Look at this, green, green, green. Even though it's still the middle of the afternoon, the light has dropped to near nightfall. A stunning reminder of just how deep and powerful this storm truly is. Very dark virtual daylight time for destructive be baseball size hail. Take shelter in a sturdy building, away from windows. People and animals outdoors will be severely injured. Storm chasers dread setups like this. What you're seeing here is a high precipitation or HP supercell. These storms are packed with rain, and in this case, dozens of smaller cells are feeding into the rear flank of this parent storm. That constant reinforcement keeps the downdraft saturated, hiving the storm structure and choking off any clean view of what's happening inside. When storms stack up like this, their character rarely changes. The messy, rain-wrapped look is here to stay. But just because it's hidden doesn't mean it's harmless. In fact, with this much energy feeding into the base, a tornado could be spinning up right now, out of sight, but dangerously close to the team. Probably got a big tornado in it. Very deep in it right now. rocking us. This thing's trying, but I, I mean, it probably got a tornado on the ground back there. It'd be pretty shocking if there's not, but you're just not going to see it right now. Very HP, very dark, very murky, very all the things. I need to figure out if there's another way to chase this. If this keeps the east like this, we're in good shape. I mean, this is probably the most opportune spot to have seen something now. Oh yeah, let's back off this thing, Sam. Behind us in velocity suggests a pretty large tornado is ongoing. Uh, just to our north and west, Sam smells it. You smell that tornado, bud? Uh, it's pretty obvious there's a big tornado down uh, right now. In fact, they just uh, PDS'd it, so it is confirmed. Yeah, there's a big tornado down right now. With little chance of seeing this tornado and sunset less than an hour away, the team calls it a day. After an incredibly busy stretch of severe weather, it's time to head home, rest up, and recharge before the next chase begins. <laughs>